What do you think of when you hear the word assessment, measuring achievement, evaluation of learning, benchmarks, and comparing our kids to where they should be? What if assessment were used less as a form of measuring achievement and more as a means of looking at your child's growth and for purposes of teacher planning? I'm Alana, founder of Artful Teaching, Joyful Learning, and I help homeschoolers teach with confidence, ease, and a splash of creativity so that their kids fall in love with learning. In the schools of Reggio Emilia, Italy, you won't find progress reports or report cards, but you will find large, expansive documentation panels spreading across walls, sharing snapshots of young children's project work across all stages, from brainstorming, idea generation, to theories and quotes, to the creation process, along with the finished product. Documentation is thinking and learning made visible. It's like a window into your child's mind over time. Documentation has always been a means of assessment in my practice, but it looks a little different than the schools of Reggio Emilia, Italy. I use documentation as a way to collect evidence of kids learning over time, to help them set learning goals, as well as to share actual products of learning. A tool I found invaluable for documentation are these simple bound idea books. Idea books are simple coil bound hardcover sketchbooks, and they're like a living and growing portfolio a place to house children's ideas, to capture their stories, to share their learning, and a place to write my observations. These idea books are like an organic and ever-evolving snapshot of learning over time. We often go back to look at our theories and how our thinking and learning has evolved. Loris Malaguzzi, founder of the Reggio Approach, says that we become detectives of the traces of the learning processes of the child. Our job as educators is to read between the lines to determine our children's interests as well as next steps for learning. What kinds of materials and experiences will provoke deeper thinking and lead to greater understanding? When paired with a handy tool like this, Scope and Sequence or Learning Continuum, we can map out exactly where the child is at and we can plan learning going forward. Through documentation, we can triangulate evidence of learning just like researchers use triangulation. Through conversations we have with our children, through our own observations, and through the learning products, your child's finished work. In these idea books, I often make space to share my written anecdotal observations. Sometimes these are learning conversations we have, and other times these are more informal observations of my own. I make space for children's finished work and include in-process or planning work. We also use idea books as a way to house more formal assessments like letter sound identification, as well as a place to set and share learning goals. An idea book is a wonderful tool for documenting and celebrating your child's growth. These portfolios make learning and growth visible over time and become a beautiful keepsake for years to come.